women become trophies for men and then men become essentially a bank account for women. Things like OnlyFans, it allows women to engage in that scenario of like, I give you sexual pleasure and you give me money without ever actually having to interact with them on a human level. We've just got this deep societal conditioning. It's like, this is what you practice, then this is what you're gonna get. Alrighty, so let's move on here. We got a clip um, that was suggested to us, I believe both of these actually, not only this clip that we just looked at, but also this clip was suggested to us from guys in the Discord. And this one is a interview with uh, Carl Benjamin. It was a video by uh, Chris Williamson. And the title of the video is OnlyFans is Destroying Society. Let's take a look. The way that women, young women, view men is evil. It is purely as a transaction, as in they are essentially prostitutes, every single one, and they don't even realize it. It's objectification from men to women yeah. and commodification of uh, men from women. You know that meme yeah. of the dog in the house and the house is on fire and he's just smiling through this the beginning of the end? This yeah. is fine. Like if men don't kill themselves, they're exiting education and society and family life at the highest rates ever. Women are frantically pursuing careers only to discover that they're unable to find a partner that they're attracted to and then jump on meds at 40 years old. And then the yep. people who want kids can't find a partner that does as well. Birth rates declining, faith in the leaders mm -hmm. and the news organizations non-existent. And everyone's just about sufficiently sedated not to notice or care that it's going on. <laughs> That's a precise and accurate summary of how the West has declined and will collapse, yes. Oof. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a little bit of a brutal one. Um, I think Chris just blackpilled himself with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it sounds like it. Um, yeah, we have this like I know there was more in this this conversation where they were talking about like OnlyFans and how it changes the relationship between men and women, where basically women are taught that men are just it's just like what can they get them? It's like women become trophies for men. And then men become essentially a bank account for women. Um, and that's what it is, this, is, this exchange. Man gets sex and status if you're hot, and then the woman gets um, you know, money and resources if you, uh, you know, can provide and whatnot. And this is, on some level, this is the way it's always worked between men and women. Um, but I think it's taken a very deeply dehumanized sort of um, turn recently. I think it's just become far, far grosser because instead of like actually having an, an, another person on the other side of that, that equation with you, um, things like OnlyFans, it allows women to engage in that scenario of like, I give you sexual pleasure and you give me money without ever actually having to interact with them on a human level. Right, they're just they're just faceless people who follow their OnlyFans, right? And then the the flip side of that would be men with porn, right? Same sort of thing. It's like, hey, I get to you know pretend like I'm having sex with you, and my brain releases this all this dopamine and uh, you know this this simulation of a high status event, and I get to feel really good and get this awesome orgasm. Um, and so it's like, but but it's never actually with a real person. Now. I think because that kind of stuff is happening so much, it's that transactional element between men and women, which has always been there, has then become even more intense in the average everyday relationship. Like that's what you know, our Tinder culture has kind of, I think, turned into, uh, even in, in the dating wor world. And so I think that's, that's screwed up, right? Like it's screwed up that we have this in deeply transactional, like, disease that's just festering in our core relationships, you know, our, the, the, the building block of society, the relationship between uh, man and woman. And where we want it to be is like, well, what if people actually loved each other again? What if there was actually like real love, real intimacy, real connection? What if like that's what we built things off of? I, I think we can all agree that that's, that's better, but we've just got this deep societal conditioning. It's like, this is what you practice, then this is what you're going to get. And like prior to only, like for, for guys, you know, the porn starts pretty young, like as soon as they hit puberty at this point. And you might be thinking, well, most girls don't have an OnlyFans and they're not doing this kind of stuff. Yes, they are. 
that's what social media is. They're just doing it for, instead of straight up money, they're doing it for likes on their Instagram pictures and their, their TikTok dances, right? It's the same shit. It's just you're, you're paying them with attention and then they get to be popular and they get people to pay attention to them and all that kind of stuff. And this is what we practice. And so this is what we're going to get. And so, you know, when, when I was watching this clip with you, like we weren't able to find any, um, they weren't putting forth any solution really. And I'm not saying they don't ever anywhere. I just didn't see it, but like, that's, that's where we gotta, we have to have a solution, right? And the solution is to start a new culture. We need a different culture. We need a better culture. We need one where we reject this crap. It's got to happen. And I think men have to lead this charge. Like, this is why I keep coming back to the um, quitting porn stuff. It's like, in many ways, I would like to move beyond quitting porn because there's so much more stuff to talk about. But like, this is where it's got to begin because until you can scroll past, you know, the thirst traps in your feed and you stop giving them attention, well, then there's not even going to be an incentive for women to not do that kind of stuff. Like, there needs to be a set of men worth pursuing right and i guess you could argue that like you know well women got to do it first but i don't know i just think that's that's weak weak thinking like you think like oh well there's no good women left and so i i'm not going to stop watching porn because i would never be able to find a good woman and it's like no you have to be the one who takes the chance like that's the way it goes is like women they become they are a product of society men produce societies that's what I think. And maybe that's sexist, but like that generally seems to be a way it goes. And if we want to create a world where true human love can still flourish, I think the men have to lead. They have to be able to rise above this ultra transactional sexual like based degeneracy and create something better, more intimate, more meaningful, more fulfilling. And so from then, women will actually feel more confident in letting this stuff go of like not feeling like they have to, you know, dress like extremely provocatively and, you know, get attention from a million men. Instead, they're like, oh, well, I actually have like a really good guy here who's a high performer. He's a good guy. He's got his shit together. He's mastered himself. You know, he's mastered his sexuality. It's like, I want attention from him and just him. And that's, that's what we, uh, what we got to go for. And so like the, our work is cut out for us, but if we don't do this, if we don't even try, well, we're screwed.